Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Aspire program versus the VCARV program. VCARV Pro to be exact. So at first glance, they both look relatively the same. The job setup form. Notice there's no difference. So now we're on the drawing tab. There's no difference other than the size of the workpiece that I've entered in myself. The next tab is modeling, and this is where the biggest difference is going to be for the whole program. The right side with the VCARV Pro is almost empty of tools. There's a couple. One costs $700 and one costs $2,000. So what's the real difference? Let's find out. One thing they're both capable of doing is importing an STL file which is a 3D file this is an outside source one so now what I'm doing is gonna import the same file again I'm downsizing it it's actually kind of big and both of the programs are up to date they're uh, 10.512 so take note in the Aspire program, it uploaded no problem. Now let's try that in the VCARV Pro. I'm going to upload the exact same file. And looky there, you can't do it. You can only upload one file from an outside source. In Aspire, you can upload 150. So what's the big deal with that, you say? And that means you can only upload one file, you can't create a scenery or nothing with outside sources. Now of course, if you just want to get a file and upload it and carve you a 3D carving, then VCAR Pro is probably what you want. But if you're like me and like to create your own file and maybe sell it, Aspire is what you need. Now there is a way to upload more than one file into VCAR Pro, and that's going to be through Design and Make, and I'll show you that in a second. However, they're not free, and, and most people like to get free files. And if you're trying to create your own 3D file, it ain't happening in VCAR Pro. We'll go over that in a second in Aspire. So I'm going to do a little bit of creating, just sit back and watch. We're not going to make anything in particular, we're just going to take a look at the create shape box. That's just one of the several tools that you're paying the extra money for, is this one right here. So this video is not really to show you how it works, it's just to show you the difference. So I'm just going to make some shapes. And show off a couple of the features and how they work. Notice how I created a 2D circle and now we're converting it basically into a 3D image with all these little different 
buttons and stuff they give you to play with. At the end of the video, we're going to take a regular image of my daughter and push basically one button to convert it to a 3D photo. It's not the greatest. Another thing to note is if you're thinking about buying the Aspire program and you know it's 2000 bucks or whatever and you don't have the money, if, if you buy the VCar Pro or the VCar Desktop, you can upgrade each one and they subtract the amount that you've already paid. So if I, you know, I paid 700 for the VCar Pro, I only had to pay 13 more hundred plus tax to upgrade you know not have both programs so that's just a thought realistically I don't need the desktop or or the pro because I have the Aspire however if I had an extra CNC and that would come in handy you know if it wasn't in the same place or something Keep in mind, you can only upload the program onto, I think, three computers. Don't quote me, but it's not that many. I don't know about you, but I like to make stuff. I hate paying for the files. So that's one of the ways to create the 3D file. There's actually another way in Aspire. But first we're going to look at the extra clip arts and design and make stuff that you can get. The clip art is free with each program. The design and make stuff is not free, but it is linked into your account. So after you get your file or whatever, it's, you can have it accessed right inside both VCar Pro and Aspire. You do get a lot more clip art with Aspire opposed to VCar Pro. And you can import on both multiple files from the clip art section and the design and make section but not an outside source for VCar Pro only one file there is another way to make a 3D file 
and that's by uploading an image. I'll show you that here in a second, but first we're going to go look at the design and make store that you can upload as many files as you want from. I'll put the link in the description. If you happen to purchase um, files from these guys, they're automatically um, accessible inside each one of the Spire and VCAR programs in the clip art section under design and make after you purchase them and download them you have to download them they do have a pretty big selection you can buy singles or you can buy groups of uh, three files they're not cheap, but they're, they're really good files. Also, if you purchase them from here, you can upload as many as you want. One of the main reasons I upgrade is because I like to create my own stuff and import files from other people, more than one. A couple more things to note is how many things are in your modeling tab up top. There's a lot more in Aspire. And if you see somebody with a video using Aspire and you have desktop or VCAR Pro as long as they're not doing 3D modeling making it, it you can probably do it because you have all the other features except for the modeling ones and you get an extra gadget too And if you notice where you create your toolpaths, they're exactly the same. There's no difference. Okay, let's look into the other way of how to uh, make a 3D file from a picture. It's really simple. However, you can't make very many changes to it. You can make a couple, but not very many. Also, just note that there's several ways to make um, 3D files. This is just the very, very basic, basic way to make it. Is that icon right there. You upload an image, it does the work for you. Not every image works the greatest. I've tried several. A few will work pretty good and the others won't. You can make a few changes to it though. Just not that many. You can't really see the fish, but she's actually holding a fish. And there's a bobber up there by her arm. The fish is turned sideways so you barely can see him. So right there is one of the adjustments you can make. You can smooth out your uh, 3D file. We're going to run some G-code on this. Just to see what it looks like. Like I said, this is the basic way. You can make some really, really nice um, 3D files with this uh, Spire program. Just not with that tab. To create the files that are really detailed. Could take a few hours to a day just depending on what you're doing and how big it is
And mostly, how much detail do you want? However, that's another video. I'd like to thank everybody for watching my video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to like the video and share the video. There will be several links in the description for you to check out. Thanks for watching.